Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Breed. Today I'm going to show you how I do a low and slow pork butt on my pellet grill. Now this butt I want to serve for lunch tomorrow, so I'm going to get it seasoned up in some good hickory smoke. Let it go all night at a low temp so I get a good bark on it. I'm not going to wrap it. I'm going to let the smoker do its job. It's going to be a long cook, but it's going to be delicious. Let's get to cooking. So I've got a big 10 and a half pound pork butt that I'm starting with today. We're just going to get it out of the cryovac package. This is one I just picked up at the local grocery store. I mean, check that money muscle out on that dude. That's a behemoth. The first thing we're gonna do to it is get some paper towel and kind of dry it off. I like to get all that moisture, or as much of it as I can, off the meat when I take it out of the cryovac. So for the seasoning, I'm keeping it really simple. I'm gonna go with the base layer of my AP rub. That's the salt, pepper, garlic, everybody knows. Now for a pork butt, you could use whatever seasoning you like. If you have a favorite rub, by all means, go to it. This little salt, pepper, garlic combo with the barbecue rub will win you some money though. So once we get the AP on all sides, I'm just gonna pat it in, kind of help it stick. Now if you wanna use a binder, you can go ahead and do it. The comps, I usually use a little bit of mustard. When I'm cooking here at home, just to eat and butt, I don't even worry about it. Now we're ready for the barbecue rub. This is gonna give it that traditional barbecue flavor. It's got some sweet tone to it. It's got the chilies, the pepper, the cumin, all the good stuff you'd expect in a barbecue rub, but it puts a beautiful color on the outside as well. And I'm probably gonna have to get my backup bottle. This one was almost finished out. Let's just see. I may have enough. I'll get that money muscle in. I'm gonna cook this butt overnight, low and slow on my Traeger pellet grill. I'm not gonna put it on to about 10 o'clock. I'm gonna move it to a little raised rack and drop it down in this pan. So now I'm ready to put the butt in the refrigerator. I'll fire that pit up after a while and we can just take it out to the Traeger and get it in some smoke. All right, I've got the Traeger going. It's been sitting on about 200 degrees for about an hour. It's time to get this butt on. It's 10 o'clock. I'm going on the pit for a long overnight cook. Now I put it on here fat side down. I want that fat to protect it. The heat's coming from the bottom in this pit. All those muscles, all those tubes that are up against that fat, I want to stay protected. On the meat side, I want to get maximum bark. And that's why I'm cooking it up like this. You just want to make sure you have plenty of pellets in the hopper. Today I'm running hickory. I love hickory with pork. You could use your favorite pellet there just make sure you fill it up so it'll make it all night time to go to bed all right this butt's been on a little over eight hours this is the point i want to look at it it's been an all-night cook we've got some good bark going and i'm betting it's somewhere in the stall i want to get a probe in it let's go in a thick part of this butt check that out that's exactly where i thought it would be 157 it's right at that stall point i'm going to go ahead and close the cooker now i want it to come up to about 190 degrees so it's going to take it two or three more hours at this point i can bump that temp up to about 225 let it push the butt through the stall i'm not wrapping it i'm not foiling it and i haven't done anything to this butt i put it on at 10 o'clock last night we're about eight and a half hours in we're sitting at 160 degrees I need 30 more degrees, It'll probably take about two or three more hours. Y'all can tell the dot is telling me we've finally hit 190 degrees on this low and slow pork butt. Look at the bark on it. I mean, it's got beautiful color. The bone's trying to spit out. We're 190 internal. Normally on a pork butt, you see me take them up closer to 200. But since we went so long, low and slow, I'm really not shooting for that 200 temp. I just want the feel to be there. So I'm gonna use my thermo pen. I'm gonna probe around this butt, oh man. That's like butter. Look how soft that thing goes in there. It's reading 195 in the money muscle to the bone there. Oh, in the back, we're still 190 back here, but it's soft as it can be. That's what I like about a low and slow no wrap butt. We've rendered all that fat, so it's let go of everything it has on the inside. You don't have to push it to 200 as long as you're willing to take the time. I'm calling this 14 hour butt done. I'm just gonna grab one of my butt tools here. Gotta have something to take them up on. You could use gloves if you wanted to. This makes it so much easier. Slide it right under. We're ready to go over to the cutting board. Let it hang out for a few minutes. So I've let the butt sit here on the cutting board for about 10 minutes. Now at this point, if you wanted to hold it longer, just drop it in a pan, put some foil over it, stick it in a dry cooler. It's good to go for two to four hours. Today, we're getting ready to have this for lunch. I want to try some of it, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull it apart. Now, first thing I do, take out this old instant read thermometer. You know a butt's done. When it comes out clean, that bone just pulls out. Now, we don't need that. You can save that for the dogs or something. What I wanna see is how this dude's gonna break apart. I'll start with that money muscle. Set that to the side. Get us some of these bark pieces out. This is where all those good tubes live, down in this area, underneath where we've rendered that fat. Probably one of the best muscles in the butt right there. That's what I call a tube. And you can see 
it just hand pulls. I know it's tender. I know it's juicy. In fact, I'm gonna try it. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh man. That's why I love cooking pork butt this way. You taste the pork. You get the seasoning on the bark and on the outside, but what's on the inside, no injection. Straight pork rendered goodness. I like breaking up some of that bark in the meat. Get back here in some of these muscles where we got some really good bark on them. Just break those up by hand as well. When you get ready, just get off in there with some gloves. That's how you really do it. You don't need any fancy tools for pulling pork. It's all about feeling the meat, cooking it to where it'll separate out. All the fat's gone from it. You might find a few little straggler pieces. You can pull some of that out to the side. Sometimes I like to mix some of it up in there. Keeps it nice and juicy. But this is exactly how you want to have a pork butt, where you can just shred it by hand. There's no chopping required. Just good seasoning, good pork, and a lot of time, some good hickory smoke. It's all you need. And this is really one of the easiest ways you can cook a pork butt on a pellet grill overnight, nice and slow, 200 degrees, ramp it up after about eight hours. Once it hits that stall, give it to about 220, 225 even, finish it out. A big butt like this, it's gonna take you 13 or 14 hours. Just don't get in a hurry and try to push it. The hard part, staying out of it while you pull it all apart. Even those big muscles towards the back, I mean, they're just perfectly cooked through and through. All that connective tissue, the fats let go, it's rendered out into juice. And we've got this steamy hot pulled pork, nice smoke ring on it. You can see that hickory smoke has gave us a good inch or so of smoke ring on this pork. And I didn't forget about that money muscle. I'm gonna shred it up too. It's getting mixed in. Gotta give me a piece of that bark off the edge of it though. Mmm. Oh wow. That's where the money's at right there. And who says you can't get smoke ring on a pellet grill? At 200 degrees for about 14 hours, you get all the smoke you want. And that's what I call pulled pork low and slow on a pellet grill. Now I'm gonna pour me a little bit of this vinegar sauce out on the board. I gotta do some dabbing. Give me one of these good pieces that's got some bark, some smoke ring, some good lean to it. Dab it off in that vinegar sauce. Mmm. If that's not heaven, I don't know what is. Y'all got to get you some of this. That's all I got to say. Son. And I see this barky piece just sitting here begging for me. That's gonna be my last dab. Gotta get in there. Ooh, where you going, son? Come on with it. Mm. Thanks for checking us out here today at How to Barbecue Right. If you like what we're doing, subscribe to that channel. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Shell and I will talk about this low and slow pork butt on our weekly podcast and all the other delicious stuff we're cooking. Y'all give that a listen too. We'll see y'all next time. That's porktastic right there. Everything you want. Smoke, rub, dab of vinegar, bark. Mmm.